The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone, welcome to the uh, Meet the Trainer webinar. Um, I'm not the trainer, so um, you should have to wait a minute or two before you get to meet the main uh, man. Um, we're here to talk about CISP uh, blended training course. I'm the head of uh, training for IT governance and I'm just going to uh, chair the session, but you'll hear mostly from Jeff. Um, a couple of Q&As in there, and we're going to talk about what is blended learning. So I'm going to do that up front, just switch those around. So I've just told you who I am. Um, now, CIS blended training, um, this combines instructor-led sessions with digital content and mentoring, coaching from from the expert so um, you'll meet the expert shortly Jeff and uh, it provides uh, a very good way of learning um, instead of things like your five-day accelerated uh, kind of boot camps or courses and within the course it, it brings through the ingredients you see there uh, on the right in particular are things like focusing on mastery so making sure you're um, doing well on the domains you're covering before moving on too quickly, uh, therefore maybe getting bogged down. Um, it includes direct instruction, it includes uh, digital learning, uh, it's got gamification involved in there. We use a very um, clever platform to help us deliver uh, the product. Now, Obviously the product's over three months, um, so it is more and more uh, manageable and each week you'll do one and a half hours with a group instructor led um, with your uh, world-class trainer Jeff he will also do four one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions so one at the beginning and then obviously uh, interdispersed into to the last one before you go into your exam uh, that's very useful and very unique to the the delivery model in the course um, it provides a lot of one-on-one -on -one support, so you, you wouldn't normally get this level of support on a five-day course, for example. We ask you to commit to one hour of learning every day. Jeff's very passionate about that, um, and it's a key to um, successfully passing first time. And like I said, there's loads of digital content, so that one hour a day will be taken up through digital learning, some uh, awareness of uh, news articles in the industry that, that you'll be pointed to um, and daily question practice and this, this course is all about practice 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 so you'll get the technical info but all the way through you'll be required to practice materials wise you get uh, access to the platform digital materials but you also get the CISP all-in-one book which I've placed here uh, being you know really good at marketing um, so platform wise, this is an example of my dashboard. This is what you'd access when you're uh, enjoying uh, the, the training. And uh, you have access to a community. So everyone who, who registers to CISP in the, in the cohort that you, you're in, let's uh, say January is the next one, um, you'd be able to talk to and share uh, items in there and the instructor can talk to you all through that. Um, you'll have access to your courses, and if you uh, select your learning path, this is what you'll see when you're on your CISP training course. So you'll have your introduction, daily challenges, so every day you'll get a question practice. It will really try to drive you on to practice, 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 and then you'll have your domains. And you can do them in any order. It's up to you, but your instructor will guide you, and you'll usually start with domain one. Uh, you've got support uh, from the, the platform on the right, and uh, obviously, like I said, your course is there in the middle. Now, I'm not far off away from handing you over to Jeff, but if you want a taster of the platform, you can, uh, don't try clicking on the screen now, because you won't be able to do it, but we'll send you, or, or the materials are in this uh, webinar, and you will be able to click through, or if you want to try, uh, you can, uh, oh, it's actually clicked through for me on there rather than rolling the presentation on. You can QR that. I'm not going to stay on here for too long. But these will give you a little bit of a practice on the Rise Up platform, a feel 
for what the product will do for you. Now in terms of uh, the course and then handing over to Jeff, the, 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 the course is hosted on a mobile app called Rise Up. It has practice quizzes, five, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. The whole course has been um, set up to really drive challenges. So you've got daily challenge on your question. You'll do a three hour pre uh, course exam and you'll hand those results over to Jeff so he can talk to you about your strengths and weaknesses. So if you know nothing, that's what he'll talk about. If you know quite a bit, then he'll focus you as required. You'll get a personal development plan on the back of that uh, mentoring with Jeff and obviously revisit uh, interdispersed over the, the 90 days. You'll then uh, do some domain focused uh, learning, so guided by Jeff, so it's not necessarily in a numerical order, and you'll do pre and post domain topic tests. So it's, it's really focusing on getting you to master the domains, ideally before you move on and work with Jeff to make sure you get your pass rates in all of the domains up. So you'll have your instructor-led sessions each week, so Jeff will guide you through those. Um, you have dom your domain-specific uh, post-assessment, and where you need to deep dive, uh, Jeff will guide you on this, but you'll have the all-in-one book, which I've uh, marked on my right shoulder right now. Um, so that's where you can really go uh, deeper if you need to, to build uh, a better understanding of the topic. And then at the end of the course, we would like you to do a three hour exam um, and keep doing them until you pass. The reason being is a bit like driving instructor, we want you to pass before you go to the real test. And if you do that and you do everything else, we'll actually guarantee you pass or pay for your reset. So, Jeff, did that as quickly as I could, so I apologize. How you doing? Um, over to you. Greetings, folks. All right, so right out of the gate, I wanna tell you, I would like these to be collaborative sessions. So I know that those of you that are here, you probably have very specific and unique, maybe challenges or scenarios, and you probably have some questions that you wanna get answered before you, you decide to make this investment in your career. So. Right out of the gate, I wanna tell you, if you're comfortable talking to me, I want you to raise your hand and someone will unmute you in order that, that we see the hands go up. So that way you can ask your very specific questions, okay? If you're not comfortable talking in, in front of the uh, everyone else and, and you perhaps want to um, just ask questions, um, you can uh, put your questions in the chat and we will, uh, we will answer uh, those questions live as well, okay? Now, I thought I saw a hand go up already, but I'm not sure if that is in fact what I saw. If it was, they would have unmuted you, so I'm gonna assume it wasn't. Um, so, greetings, my name is Jeff Jarecki. I am the CISSP Bootcamp Instructor, uh, or one of the CISSP Bootcamp Instructors for IT Governance. Uh, as Andy mentioned, uh, I think he used the word passionate. I'm very, very passionate about my training and what I do, I've been teaching uh, a similar course to this. Um, I've been building a course similar to this for the last 10 years. I've been teaching it to, uh, at this point, we're into the thousands of students, um, it, it basically in uh, 10 to 13, let's just say 10 week increments, uh, per, pretty much four, four to eight times a year uh, for the last almost 10 years now. And I've kind of got it down to a science, which is how we have built this program out is, um, we've built it in such a way that it's designed to meet you wherever you are. So let me explain what I mean by that. There's, there is a couple of different types of people. I think there is the cybersecurity professional that has worked in, you know, multiple domains. They have 15 or 20 years or 25 years of experience and they are a full on security geek and they know all things security and they, they've been in this field for a long time, and for one reason or another, they're deciding it's time to get their CISSP. Great, that is one type of person. And if that's you, this program will work for you fantastically. But so will the typical one-week bootcamp, which is also offered by ITG, which is great, okay? But then there's the other type of person, which is literally everyone else, probably many of you on this call, who 
has not been doing this for 20 years, has not worked in multiple domains of security, you may not have any security experience at all. You might be coming from an IT background. Maybe you're coming from a programming background. I don't know yet what your backgrounds are. This course, this 13 week blended approach is designed and in my opinion it is heavily focused on the the other group of individuals right the the people that are varying from literally zero experience i have created a lot of sysps out of people that have no experience none whatsoever not even it experience we have this down to a science at this point um from that person all the way up to the person who has five ten even 15 years of experience but maybe not in a varied background or in multiple domains of cybersecurity and for those individuals you know I think when you when and so you know when we're talking about typical folks right most people when you stare down this book and you look at the size of it and you say oh there is literally no way I can do this yes there is I can assure you there is now is there a uh, the approach wherein I would recommend a one week boot camp to the majority of people? No, I, I think it is very challenging unless you are really on your game, uh, the sharpest you've ever been, and you're really good at learning and studying fast. Cramming this book in a week <clears throat> is very complicated, exceptionally complicated. And I think that courses like ITG's one week course, can they get a lot of people through that? Absolutely. Are those people going to be in as good of shape as the people that go through a 13 week course? No, they won't. In the 13 weeks that I have with you, it allows me to not only provide that same education, but in a much more structured and steady approach. It's kind of the, the tortoise and the hare story. They both might finish the race, but that tortoise is going to finish comfortably and have learned a lot of things along the way. And in this scenario, and you know, this is often, I think people hear me say this and they don't really believe me. My goal is not really to make you a CISP. It's not really to uh, create a uh, someone that can pass the CISP. That, that's not really my goal. My goal is to create a security professional out of you, okay? Wherever you're at, wherever you're coming from, I wanna turn you into a security professional because any real security professional can easily pass the CISP. Right. And the real value in what you're going to take away from this course is not just the certification. Yes, the certification is critical. It's important. Uh, it's very much going to help you in your career. It helps you get the interview. Sometimes it helps you get the job. Sometimes if you have a good job, it helps you get the raise. There's lots of great things that you're going to get just from the cert. But the real value that should come from this course is that any element of IT or business as it relates to delivery or operations, you're going to understand the domains of security that apply, how they apply, why they apply, right? How important they are, why they're important. You're going to understand those so that just about any conversation that you walk into or you get drug into, you're going to understand what's being discussed and you're probably going to have not only the best practice knowledge to discuss it, but you're probably gonna have vastly better insight than those around you that are not studied or have not evaluated and have learned to look at a, a much more holistic picture of security because we are not going to have you focusing on one little piece of security. You're going to learn all eight domains. So this is everything from physical security. We talk about locks and dogs and fences and guards, all the way up through encryption algorithms and identity and access management and everything in between and disaster recovery and business continuity planning. And it's a lot, it is a lot. And when you try to tackle that in a week, it's very challenging. When you tackle it in 13 weeks and you do it in small pieces, one hour every single day and you follow the program that we've built and the one that I'm going to structure specifically for you in our one-on-ones, you will find success. You will find success. I have countless success stories from following this program and it just works. And you'll probably enjoy yourself too. We, um, real quick before I go, I don't see any questions listed in here. I don't think I do. I see, oh, here we go. Jeff, do we need to have, minute. I see one, what's that? You've got it, it's fine. I'll just say right. we have one. Yeah. Do we need to have any other qualifications? Absolutely not. So. 
before taking this course? No, you do not. Now, the ISC squared board does require that you have at least five years of uh, paid full-time experience in two of the eight domains. They'll allow you to substitute a year of uh, that experience for college. And I think there's some other substitutions that they've been batting around. Don't worry about that if you don't meet it yet because a number of years ago, they launched a program called the Associate Program, which is brilliant because I had a lot of students early on that would, before this program existed, that would come through, do all the work, pass their exam, but then they couldn't be a CISP. They had to wait until they had met the, the experience requirements. And based on the code of ethics, you weren't even allowed to mention the CISSP. You couldn't put those initials on your LinkedIn. You couldn't do anything. You just had to wait. Now they've passed what's called the associate program. The purpose of the associate program is if you pass the exam, you can list yourself as an associate of ISC squared CISP. It indicates that you passed the exam, you just don't have the years of experience yet. And that speaks volumes, that, that's a big value. So you do not need to have any other qualifications. If you, for those of you that do have, like maybe you've done the security plus or network plus or C-Risk or CISA or CISM or any of those things, great. It's gonna help offload some of the work. You're gonna already know some of that and that's fantastic. But if you don't have any of it, great, you're actually, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased, but you're my favorite student. I like students that come in with zero background. I mean, I'd like you to have a little bit of IT that helps for sure, but the more that I can uh, add value to you in this course, the better I feel about it at the end of it. So, um, let me see. It's, my questions are a little weird here. Okay, there's only one, okay. So at this point, I wanna just pause because I'm kind of rapid fire, as you can tell a little bit. I wanna pause and open it up for questions before I keep going. I wanna make sure that we're addressing any concerns that you have as you make the decision as to whether or not this is for you. All right, I see somebody chatting. No, oh, no, that's for something else. No one else has questions? I'm gonna keep going. Please raise your hand if you want to speak. I would love to have you. Um, I would love to have you. Uh, so speak. so we have oh, Sharon. Sharon, I see one. Sharon, yeah. Yeah. Let's try and mute you, Sharon. I think it'll let me. Hold on, let me try. I can see the little. Uh, Sharon, it says you're self muted. So I've unmuted you, and I think you need to unmute as well. There you are. Yeah. You're green. Okay. Hi. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'm probably the techno person that you need. You're probably talking about. I'm sorry about that. I was just trying That's to okay. work out what was going on. Um, could you clarify the the prerequisites, sure. um, please? Just uh, because it's something that I've looked at before, um, mm -hmm. and I kind of got phased uh, about the five year history. I mean, I've I've had a long security career doing lots of other things um but not sort of cyber it based um it doesn't matter but, so yeah you know, let's let's dig into that a little bit yeah, so that's for, handy. thank you absolutely so first of all there is zero requirements for the course to come through my course there, there's no requirements we just okay. show up and do the things we ask every easy but to get the actual isc squared cissp certification um i just pulled it up uh, because I wanted to make sure that I'm getting the most up-to-date, which it's still kind of a little weird to look at. They don't have it. Um, they don't have it laid out very well on their website anymore. They keep changing it as part of the problem, by the way. So ultimately, unless we look and see that it's changed, you have to have worked full-time in, in whatever job it is that you did that in some way, shape or form addressed two of the eight domains. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, it used to be 10 domains, but we won't get into that. If you've worked in IT, you probably qualify. And what I mean by that is you have to understand one of the, what we're gonna be talking about in, and what we cover in this book, they call it the management exam, right? They call it the management level exam. They say it's an inch deep and a mile wide, right? So it's a little bit of knowledge about a lot of subjects, okay? Which means you probably have done some of the things that we're gonna talk about. If you've ever, have you ever had to reset passwords? Yes. Fantastic, you just qualified for the identity and access management domain. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done backups or disaster recovery or business continuity planning or encryption? 
or account uh, creation? Mm, no. Risk analysis. Um, in other areas, yeah, but not not. You're going to qualify. <laughs> when you see, I'm just being, I'm just being blunt. It's like it's, it's, link, yeah. So it's, when if look, we're going to cover, you know, a wealth of things in here that is all things IT operations, delivery, security, all the things. So if you've worked in IT for five years, there's a high likelihood that you're going to be able to claim experience in two of these eight domains. High likelihood. And here's the thing. Even if you don't, even if you get in here and you say, you know what, I, I actually don't, I don't think we covered anything that I have extensive experience in or that I've done the five years in, it doesn't matter. You can still claim the associate. And then what happens is you have the associate, they start a, and I'm looking at it right now, it looks like they give you a six year clock. They give you six years to have satisfied your minimum of five years experience. And if you, oh, here it is right here. You gotta have a minimum of five years, full-time experience in two or more of the eight domains. If you have a post-secondary degree, so bachelor's or master's in anything um, in computer science or IT or related fields, so that, that's a pretty broad statement, by the way, uh, that will knock one of those years of experience off um, or an additional credential from ISC squared approved list may satisfy for up to one year of the experience as well. So you can knock it down and if you don't, they give you six years to have earned the five years necessary. If you've worked in IT, like I said, I, I've seen a lot of people get the full cert that have only done like entry level work in IT. So it's pretty loosely interpreted. Okay. I need to look into that a bit more, but thank you. Absolutely. And like I said, even if you don't qualify now, don't let that stop you. Sure, because no. yeah, I don't these worry. studies are going to enable you to do bigger, better, and more things at work or other roles, other positions, sure. whatever you decide you want to do. Don't I wouldn't let it stop you. Yeah, absolutely. No, thank you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you. And Jeff, we got another one from Kerry um, or Roy. Do you see that there? I do not. Kerry, can you hear me? I don't see. Uh... Okay. I don't even see a carry. The look. question uh, is: Oh, it's in the chat. Are you able I'm to sorry. get a list of all modules that are covered in the course, please? Are they just titles based on the eight domains? Can you get a list of all everything that's covered in the course? Um, I don't know that we have. I don't know I if we have that broken down. What I can tell you is, if you're curious about what the course, it covers. I would say our course covers about 90% of what's in this book. If I had to guess, it's about 90%. That's just the digital online portion. The elements that you're going to learn in class when we meet for an hour and a half every week, and you're following along your study plan, and you're doing your one hour, is going to cover the remainder. You will cover, and in fact, by the way, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, so not only are you going to be basically covering 100% of, of multiple books, by the way, so it's not just this gold book. I mean, that's the one that you'll be working from, but the course has been developed from multiple books and multiple knowledge sources. But it, just in the last, uh, about the last year, I have been doing a lot of work in art artificial intelligence and have built prompt libraries. And what I've been doing lately is adding in uh, little elements here and there, training my classes on how to utilize these prompt libraries to accelerate their education, to make sure you are getting 100%, but really moreover, to focus on your weak areas. So you will not only be learning about the CISP, you will also get just a, a wee little crash course in artificial intelligence that's gonna help accelerate your learning as well. So that's something that you do separate. I, I teach it in class. You're gonna see a little bits of modules of it in class but it is going to rapidly accelerate how quickly you're able to consume this content and what you're able to learn from it. So just to add on to that, Kerry, the, the, the titles are just the domains, but within each domain there's subtopics. So those, those aren't really listed anywhere, but they do just follow the domain structure, don't they? So Kerry, Kerry do you already have a CISP book by chance?
Hey, Andy, or uh, Andrew, I don't know uh, where you're seeing message, these messages. No book, but that was helpful. Thank you. That's fine. Oh, perfect. Good. Uh, we do have another question from Maria. How long does it take to complete CISP if you're working on full time and you only have a couple of hours per day and at the weekend? I work on, in IT and I've been a security manager, physical security for more than 10 years. That's a good question. That's fantastic. Um, if you're work, when you say work, I assume when you say working on full time and only have a, yeah. I, so here's the thing. I only need one hour from you. Your background of having 10 years, both doing, uh, doing physical security uh, and working in IT, you're going to do stellar. You, you in one hour a day, it's going to be more than sufficient. Like, remember, we're doing a very shallow dive into lots and lots of lakes, right? That's a good way to look at it. You're just doing a, just a little bit in a lot of ways. If you can give me one hour a day, we can get you uh, your CISP. And, and I mean, that is, so I would not anticipate you, you know, some students, if they come to me and they say, hey, I have no experience, none. I don't even work in IT. I'm gonna tell that student, you're probably in the hour and a half day, two hour a day. Every day for 13 weeks, you're gonna have to put in a little bit more. Based on your background, be an hour at most, frankly. And the number of months is literally gonna be your 13 weeks. I usually anticipate having students take their exam. As long as you've satisfied the requirements that Andrew was talking about earlier, I really wanna see you taking your exam, usually within two to four weeks at the end of class. Uh, as long as you've satisfied your requirements, then you, I would heavily encourage that. I don't want you waiting too long after class, unless you have to, unless you're struggling to pass the sample exams or you have other challenges that are happening. Um, so you, I would tell you, you should anticipate 15-ish weeks it's about a little bit over three months. Jeff, can I just add to that? So Maria, the this kind of this blended course is essentially designed exactly for those working flat out full time, can't take a full five days out on top of maybe self learning. So this is guided learning, one maximum two hours a day. Um, Jeff will want you to not do more than two hours a day. It's got guided digital content where you can digest it coming out, having a coffee in the coffee shop. You can do a 10 minute quiz on the train. You can listen to audio files. So we've, we've put every domain, not into just uh, animated or, or digital content, but we have audio files for every domain. Uh, we designed that for those with the long drives in their Teslas uh, in particular. Um, so this is ideal for doing one hour a day over about three months, but like Jeff said, maybe four, maybe four and a half months it's, it's really designed for you just you maria <laughs> all right so folks uh, unfortunately we have to wrap up because i have a class in one minute i have to teach a class uh right now um listen i'm very very committed i'm very passionate to this i know some of you probably had questions that you didn't feel comfortable asking or you want more information uh, or you're going to think about it and you want to reach back out to somebody work with whoever at itg you've been working with i would encourage you to do that but if you look in the chat I've put my personal email address. That's how serious I am about this. I, I adore what I do. I love working with students from all backgrounds. I really enjoy bringing someone wherever they are all the way to the finish line. If you have specific questions, you have concerns, you wanna talk to me, I want you to shoot me an email address, okay? Or shoot me an email at that email address and I will reach back out to you and uh, we will set up a time to chat in person or I'll just answer your question over the email whatever it takes to help you get through this journey. I hope to see you in class. I, each and every, even those of you that didn't talk, you're gonna be great candidates because if you can give me an hour a day, you'll enjoy class. And actually Mark, I should have asked Mark to chime in on this earlier, but I gotta go. Mark Quinlan, he does work for ITG. He's in this class right now, this, this session that we're running, he can tell you, I presume he would tell you his own experience of how he's been engaging. Mark, you wanna say if, just a, a bit there? Yeah, I think I would reiterate everything that Jeff and Andrew have said, um, but from a kind of student's pers perspective, the online platform is really, really supportive. This is not just a case of listening to lectures and opening a book and studying. There's a lot more support. Um, the things I particularly like are the daily online questions that we get. There's a flashcard functionality in there as well, which they're all pre-loaded. You just need to look at them. Um, and that really helps to kind of 
absorb complicated co uh, uh, subjects, um, which Jeff knows from his experience are important for the exam. Um, Jeff's talked about the A AI um, tools that we use as well. They're super helpful, um, and you know the, they're not quite as good as Jeff, but Thank they you. are available twenty four seven. Which Jeff isn't, I'm afraid. That is, I have to sleep at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and you know the podcast that Jeff recommends. Uh, yeah, that's another way to learn to do your hour per day, um, but it's more stimulating because you're listening, um, and it tends to be more real world relevant. So, you know, personally, uh, it gives me a lot more confidence when I'm talking to clients, um, but also to colleagues um, and our suppliers as well. It, it, it really is um, a good course. Working for a training organization, I always knew that CIS was the leading professional cyber certification. I planned to do it in 2025 having done some intermediate courses this year and next. But with the blended approach, um, I just saw it as a fantastic opportunity to accelerate my learning um, by two mm. years. Um, I'm only a quarter of the way through the course at the moment, um, but it feels like it's the right learning method for me. And I'd say if it's right for me, it's right for everyone. Mark, you said it perfectly. And speaking of which, we both need to get to class. <laughs> we do. We're right. late. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Everybody Mark. Have a lovely the rest day. of you, just stay live. Yeah. I've got a couple more slides to show you, and then um, we will call it a day, and I can take any more questions um, if needs be. So thanks again, Jeff. Um, you've asked uh, questions. There's no more at the moment to answer, but feel free to ask them. Post training uh, feedback. Uh, I thought I'd show you this because, you know, Jeff is incredible, and the format of the course is obviously a very good format. High quality um, uh, human, high quality digital uh, content, um, and a brilliant platform. So you can see there um, from Barry, the blended approach really appealed to him with the intensity. Um, of a five-day course uh, versus a, doing it over a longer period of time. Um, also, while committing to a plan which measures progress to exam to exam readiness. And then uh, we have a uh, comment here from Stuart, very knowledge knowledgeable, personable, and accommodating for all members of the course. Real-world experience, I think you can tell that, can't you, just by the way he talks, helped to solidify the learning. Um, don't forget, you've got your community as well um, to work with to solidify the learning. The trainer gave a lot of resources and answered all the questions. So also showed uh, a lot of class participation, which made us get uh, different experiences. So within this course, you have group uh, instructor-led benefits. So you're not missing out on those kind of interactions, but you do get to learn a little bit every day. Um, so post course, post uh, doing your exam, what's on, onwards, why IT governance? Well, we, we, we are the industry specialists on GRC. So we have a wide range of uh, training which would support further development, uh, including continuity management, 27,001, uh, foundational training on things like GDPR, so these all add up, and these are requirements of the C uh, CISP membership to maintain 40 to 50 CPD points per year. We have an exam pass guarantee, so I will guarantee uh, to pay for your reset if you fail first time, as long as you follow uh, Jeff's guidance. Um, IT governments have a loyalty scheme, so by buying from us, you'll immediately apply for other discounts on books, uh, toolkits to do your, your jobs. You may not be aware of them. Uh, the toolkits and so software we, we have available, but we have an amazing array of uh, uh, products and training you could use your loiter scheme for. And then inside uh, uh, email alerts. So anything cybersecurity, we're talking about um, anything that happens every day in this business. 
and that will get shared with all of you um, ongoing. Do stay in touch, talk to your uh, you know, sales colleague uh, if you were referred in and if you uh, referred yourself into this, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you need to book yourself in, go onto our website. Uh, next cohort is January. Thank you. Um, before we go, any questions? How do we apply for the training or want to register auto qualify? You can simply book yourself onto the course and uh, we will send you details post this webinar on how to book um, onto the course. The next cohort is January. We're on one every three months, obviously, because they're three month courses. Uh, so the next one starts uh, in January. Any more questions before we wrap up? Lovely. Well, have a lovely evening. Um, it was lovely to speak to you all. Take care, yeah?